What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. Um, some of you guys need to open up to love Capricorn. I feel like, um, you know what I got? Because I saw ability to love. So, hold on, let me move this. So I feel like you're realizing that, I don't want to say that you don't know how to love. I don't want to say that. But it's like, you're realizing that there's a lot you need to learn about love and how to give it and how to receive it and how to accept it. Um, I feel like you're realizing that maybe you've been closed off to it. Uh, there's something about love that's significant. Um, it could be that your feels are, you know, you could be like, you could be feeling the energy of love right now, but you don't have the ability to give it or to accept it. Okay, I don't know. Let's see what's going on. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. I'm going to pull two oracles like always and then we're going to clarify with the tarot and then some advice at the end all right you have new love look at this ace of cups new love new love all right let's see the capricornios people are giving you bad advice you need to watch out for that bottom of deck is abundant let me tell you something libra Woo, what kind of card libra it could be a libra you could have it in your chart capricorn when you open yourself up to love there comes your money there comes your abundance there comes your stability and i feel like a lot of you guys um you know you could have been in a situation where your money hasn't been good for a while and it's because you weren't open to love i've been telling everybody this on my instagram i'm about to cry you're scared. Oh, Cap. You're scared. Why are you scared? Because you've been waiting for a while. <laughs> Look at it. I don't know, like, I'm just feeling like, I'm feeling like you're like a fifth grader, not even, I want to be like, this is more innocent than that, it's more like a, a kindergartner, you know, going to school for the first time, and it's like so many people, and so many energies, and it's like, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to start, and it, it, and it could be fearful, all, all of this, all this goodness, you know? Um, it could be a it it could have been a long time with waiting in reverse. Cause like I feel like at some point you gave up. You're like, well, I guess this love thing ain't for me, you know. But I don't see that, and I definitely don't feel that. I feel the universe is bringing you some type of love. Could be um, a new pet. Could be a person. Could be a child. Something that you're literally going to want to embrace and hold forever. Look at it. Look at the her. She's holding herself. But I feel like this is you holding whatever this is. Like you're, you're the feelings in the reverse. You're not seeing that right now because I feel like you're a little closed off. And let me tell you something, Capricorn. All right. Well, I want to give you guys a hug so bad right now. Let me tell you something, Capricorn. <laughs> I feel like whatever's coming in for you, it's like you. Anything you had before that was was not was not it clearly. Why that's why you're not over there anymore. And I feel like what you thought was love is not love because now you're being introduced to mother F and love. You know what I'm saying? And it could be a shocker. It could be. But it's okay. Okay? All right. You have letting go as the first card so you gotta let go of something all right hold your everybody get in this card today yes so let me shuffle um okay hold your vision so you gotta let go of something but just because you, you, you let it go of something doesn't mean that throw away the whole plan okay it could be the p people the place the thing that gotta go but not the whole plan 
What is letting go and hold your vision? The lovers. Look at, bruh. You have the ten of cups. You have the eight of cups in reverse, the lovers, and the king of swords. You definitely got to cut something out. Absolutely. Now, you feel a very strong tie to whatever this is. Oh, that could be why you're so emotional. Because it's like, in order for you to accept this abundance, this new thing, you have to cut out something that you feel very attached to. If it has a very special place in your heart, whatever this is, person, place, or thing. Take it how it resonates. But you're being asked to let go. And like I said, you got to let go of the person, not the vision. Okay? Or, or the energy, whatever this is for you. Because um, I see that you want to go back to something that you already walked away from. And that's a no-no. Okay? That's a no-no. It could be because it's more fam um, familiar over there, whatever it is, but that's a no-no. I'm really getting that. Your happiness is letting go of that. Yeah, the star in reverse. Whatever it is that, you're, that you are, that you're kind of, I feel like you're thinking about it. I don't think you're actually doing it or you could, some of you guys could, but there's, you don't have faith in it anyway and you stopped fighting for it. So why don't you go towards your happiness, even if it's scary, you know? We're supposed to be using fear as a signal to go towards things, to not to walk away from things. I don't know who, right, was the one that said, oh, fear, that's scary. That, that's a scary feeling. Make sure that whenever you feel that, you, you go the opposite way. No, we're supposed to go towards the things that we're scared of because that is where growth is. That is where clarity is. That is where change is. That is the, that is the way, right? Um... So, yeah, <laughs> you definitely have a very important decision to make, but you got this, okay? Next card you have is discernment in reverse. This could be used because somebody else, um, there's someone here who made a decision that was not such a good one, okay? Where's discernment in reverse? Your commitment is being tested. Why is everybody, <laughs> hold on, Cap. Hold on, I gotta breathe for a second. Because literally, everybody today is getting the commitments being tested and hold your vision. Everybody's getting that. Okay, so let's let's go back to regular now. Um, so yeah, discernment and reverse and the commitments being tested. Someone made a someone made a wrong choice. And this happened on purpose because the universe wanted you to show wanted to show you. Okay, and this is how the universe is. This is why I love the universe, man. Like I just love that. The universe sees that you're going a certain direction and they're like, okay, Capricorn, this is what you want. This is, this is what you want. Let's see if they can, if they can, um, hold up their end of the bargain. Let's see if they can deal with you, Capricorn. Let's see how much they care. So the universe throws some type of temptation in their space and whoever this person is took the damn bait. Okay. And it probably started a, a, a situation, um, and again that was meant to happen knight of cups here could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or you could have that in your chart i feel like this person um knows how to be like romancy and knows what to say and you know very cutesy type of energy but with the discernment in reverse and hold your commitment is, and your commitment is being tested i don't care what you're saying like i don't like this person for you cap what what is this discernment in reverse? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Swords, and the Death card in reverse. Could really be a Scorpio. You could have that in your chart. This person is refusing to go through a transformation, and that's why this happened. Usually when this card comes out, the Death card is, is, is close by, either in the deck or it comes out. Because the universe, it's, it's like the universe tests people to see if they're ready for a transformation if they're ready for a change in their life this person is not ready and they want to come back in but the universe wants you to think logically about that okay does it make sense to allow this person back into your space okay you have the page of wands in reverse the king of pentacles in reverse and the page of swords it doesn't have to be about love this could be about um someone else uh work i'm getting here it could be a friendship too um, yeah, this person is going to come in with some communication. Their their finances are very un they're they're unstable right now. Okay, they're unstable, which is probably why they're going to come back and try to talk to you. Um, 
they depend on you in some way. They know that they can get something from you, okay? But with the Page of Wands in reverse, the universe is not going to allow that because whatever they try to offer you or, hey, let's do this, it's going to automatically not work out because it's not supposed to because this person is not ready for whatever you're ready for. You could be dealing with an uh, Aquarius because they kind of have the same energy as well. I want to clarify this um, death card in reverse. You definitely got some money coming to you, so keep an eye out for that. Where's this death card in reverse? Why is what is this? Ten of Wands. This person is making it harder for themselves. The Empress in reverse and the Ten of Swords. I mean, whenever we refuse to have a transformation, we're just making it harder on ourselves. This person is not open to love right now, and um, they're going through. Uh, it's like, it's like mentally, the universe is, is attacking them mentally to mentally end all of this this stubbornness could be a taurus like someone's really stubborn and refusing to change and the universe is hitting them in their mental to to make them see that they're actually causing more trouble for themselves by keeping themselves closed off right and i feel like you have already passed this process um which is why the universe is like this person doesn't match your energy your energetically they don't match you because you have already been through what they have been through and it's like universe likes to match us with people that match our energy that are that are ready for the same thing that we're ready for the next card you have is support in reverse so there's some people around you some friends or family that don't have the best intentions for you i feel like these people are talking behind your back i feel like they're talking behind your back some of them could be smiling in your face, and then when you turn away, they're like, okay, don't let the past hold you back. What? Literally, all of these cards came out for, who was it? Aquarius. <laughs> you got that on your chart, I'll be dealing with one. Um, Yeah, these people are going to try to come back into your space. You know who these people are, because you don't trust them. I feel like you put them to the curb or, you know, you, you, you put them over there, you left them over there, and now they want to come back. The Empress in reverse, they're still not open. They're still not open, just so you know. Could be three people, ten of five people at your job or your family. Yeah, Knight of, Knight of Swords is in reverse. Do not go towards these people. I don't care how look, how good they try to make it look that you going back with to them is going to be great. They're going to make it look like, oh, yes, it's so great over here. You should come. No. Support in reverse. Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, three of pentacles. You have the ten of wands in reverse. They want you to drop this burden. Nine of cups in reverse. Three of pentacles in reverse. And the ace of wands. Yeah, I mean... You don't even really want to be with these people anyway, okay? You know it's not going to work. But they're going to try to offer you something. They are. They're going to be like, hey, let's, let's start new. Let's start fresh. Let's be cool. Let's be friends. Yeah, but you're chilling. You're cooling because you're like, listen, I dropped you for a reason. Leave me alone so I can be at peace because I know you guys aren't reliable, aren't committed. It's like, you know, you know, you can't trust these people. Damn, the reading was quick. But that's what I'm getting, Cap. That is what I get it. All right, let's get some advice for you. Or just hold your vision and letting go. Ooh. You have mangrove and driftwood here. Okay, definitely go with the flow. Trust where the universe is taking you. If they're asking you to let go of something, do it. Okay, I feel like you're being shifted into something else. Stay grounded, extend your roots, and gain stability. But don't give up hope. Just move away from the energy. Um, and allow the universe to bring you something better, okay? Where is discernment in reverse and your commitment is being tested? You have Avalon shell healing from the inside out. This hurt you. This person falling for that temptation definitely hurt you. Um, but this happened on purpose because the universe wanted you to heal from this and move on. 
Flamingo, fine balance, practice, moderation. Yeah, I feel like it literally rocked. It literally took you off your rocker. Like, I feel like you couldn't believe it. Like, I really feel like you couldn't believe it. Mermaid, be careful what you wish for. You asked for this. That's why you couldn't believe it. You're just like, this is what I asked for and this is what I get. But again, Capricorn, you have to understand that when this person came into your space, they were absolutely ready. They were energetically, you know, inclined to you. Like, yeah, we're good, right? Things happen, right? People fall into things. People choose to go left instead of right. People get lost in this damn sauce, right? You, you, you join a maze together with someone and egos get there. And they're like, you know what? I don't want to go that path anymore. I'm going to go this way because this way seems better, you know? And that's just part of life, okay? If anything, be grateful that you now see who this person is, what they are, all of that jazz. Like, just know that and heal from it and move on. The thing of this is, is a blessing in disguise. The universe literally came in, wrecked some havoc, okay, to show you what you needed to see. It's like now you know what you needed to see and now you could act accordingly. And if it wasn't for this shakeup, you wouldn't have never known. You could have stayed in this energy for a whole lot of more time, um, you know, uh, per slowing down your blessings and entertaining something that's not really for you anymore when what's really for you is out there so waiting you know what is support in reverse and don't let your past hold you back <clears throat> you have three cards you have life boy sandcastle and manatee here so definitely forgive these people okay uh, forgive them i know you're like what forgive them forgiving them helps you move forward f them doesn't matter what's going on with them. Who cares? You forgiving them for yourself brings peace and calmness for you. Okay. And then you have life boy. Don't give up. Help is on the way. With sand council, everything is temporary. This was supposed to be a temporary situation anyway. And I feel like you probably overstayed your stay or you allowed these people to overstay their stay. But um, whatever it is, you're good. Don't worry. If they did something to mess something up in your life, the universe got you with the help is on the way. So don't worry, like you're set, you're good. And like I've told you guys for a minute, you guys have had a lot of spiritual guidance around you guys for months. And I think, hmm, I think it's been preparing you for this love situation. I'm about to cry, bro. Because they know that it was going to be hard. I don't know why I'm bringing, they're bringing up this love thing again. They knew it was going to be hard for you to to accept love you have crap consider the unconventional take a sideways approach could be a cancer but yeah you're definitely gonna have to move differently cap you're gonna have to move in a way where you've really never moved before it might be a little uncomfortable but this is needed Whew, my heart chakra is has been bling 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 and open up cap Op open up and forgive the past okay all right capricorns all that i have for you i hope this helped <laughs> Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive. Have fun, Capricorn.